Rightio, here we are. On our way home, back to Broomtown, where we're gonna have a bit of a cook up. Show you a couple of little recipes. Hope you enjoy, guys. Put your aircon onto fresh, as long as you haven't got any traffic in front of you, it'll seal your car from the dust. You definitely know you're in the Kimberleys when you see these big guys. The Boab. The upside down tree. Western Australia, the Kimberleys. When we get a big wet season, this bridge can be blocked off. The water gets right up to the top of it. Unreal, eh? up here seem to go on forever but I'm not complaining fully relaxed so is that bloke in the back half his luck Alright, we just um, slightly sauteed these cherubim, freshwater prawns, a bit of garlic, ginger, a little bit of pepper and salt, and some lemon. And that should taste pretty good, I reckon. Ah, oh, fruits of the labour. That's pretty good. We've got mud crabs. Uh, garlic and ginger, butter, lemon, uh, oh, pepper and salt on the chicken. Alright, oh, get it in your mouth. Alright, oh, I've got Dennis coming down from Derby um, to do some stuff. And he's staying here, so I saved him a couple of these cherubim, and I'm sure he will love them. So I'm going to show you how we're going to cook them. We're going to boil these ones. Uh, these are asleep. Well, they're dead, actually. They've been on ice. Um, so we've got a bit of water in there. And this is the same way as we did those mud crabs, too. We did those two mud crabs, so they're fairly small ones. We did them um, for about uh, eight minutes. And then they went into freezing cold water after that. Salty water. Don't put them in fresh water. So we're going to pour a fair bit of salt in here. And pop them a bit up. Righto. So we're going to put some salt in. So a fair bit of salt. So we want it pretty salty. There you go. And we'll bring that right to the boil. And we'll do these for probably, oh, not long. Um, I'll have to see. I'll just see how, what they look like. Uh, you don't want to overcook them. Uh, we'll get, wait for that to boil and we'll throw them in. Just throwing some ice in the water to put these cherubin in after the 
After we've cooked them, because we want to stop the cooking process, because they'll keep cooking in their shells. Put some salt water in there. Ah, some salt in the water. Oh, also I put a, um, uh, I poured in a bit of brown vinegar uh, when I cooked those crabs up, the mud crabs, and it just uh, makes them taste a little bit better. And I've also put a bit of brown sugar in the water as well. Um, that seems to be the go for us. Throw these terrapin in now, so the time is that, and I reckon only about seven minutes did that. We'll see. Right, right, we'll throw these in. This has got salt water in it, and we don't know how long they're going to take because I normally do a lot more terrapin than this, but these are the ones we saved for Dennis. So we'll just see what they look like. Rightio, I just checked them, they're starting to float, and that sort of tells me that they're done. Um, yep, they can come out, they're done. Alright, grab your favourite old scooper, don't leave home without it. Oh, look at them, that look alright. Sound good to me mates, aren't I? <laughs> Righto, straight into freezing cold water. Salty water for you. Just let them sit down and cool down. That'll stop them cooking. And then uh, they can go in the fridge and Dennis can enjoy them with a cold beer tomorrow. Righto. Righto, they've been in there for a while so they're definitely chilled right down there. So I'm going to put these guys on a plate. Does that look good? Cold beer? And you're laughing. We're going to cook up these um, cherubrin or freshwater prawns. We're going to deep fry them in pancake batter. So I've got the old um, sister's pancake batter there. You can get that from Woolies or any Coles or any one of your thing. It's nice and sweet. So the secret is, my secret, is freezing cold water if not ice water. So mix it up so you've got a nice consist consistency. Can't say that word. So just a batter, basically. Freezing cold because it's going into hot oil and if you put it into freezing cold batter into hot oil, it goes nice and crispy. So that's what we're chasing. So I've got these um, cherubin here. And what I did with them is I cut, took the vein out and I cut them down the side like that. So what I'm gonna do, look at the size of that one, that's a beauty. Um, a little bit of salt. Ah, we haven't got any. This we have. So, because they're a freshwater prawn, you want to put a bit of flavour into them. Otherwise, they don't taste quite much. So, anything, anything that I'm going to boil that comes out of fresh water, I always put salt in it. So, a good helping of salt. Oh, and I've dried them too. Can you see that? Or are you too far away? Probably. So that's nice and dry. So they can go into the pan, into the batter now. So cold batter, dip them in there. Sorry, I might as well throw them all in. Just give that a mix around in there. All right, just want to check my oil. So with a chopstick, just dip it in there. Chopstick? How many beers you had, mate? That's a kebab stick. <laughs> so, just starting to, the oil's just starting to come to heat now. You start seeing those bubbles coming off the 
chopstick, you know, you're just getting ready to start deep frying. Chopstick? Yeah, that's good enough for me. Your dipstick. All right, as soon as they come out of the oil, they can go on to paper towel. And we'll just drop these in here. Oh yeah, perfect. You wouldn't want to put, if you had more, you wouldn't want to put any more than that in because that would be too much in there. So just let that go for a little bit. Now, you don't want to overcook. You just want to go until it's crispy and then we'll rip them straight out. Oh, we're doing that in um, rice bran oil too. That can handle a fair bit of heat. You can use, um, what's another one you can use, Fred? That can handle the heat. Peanut oil, all that sort of stuff. So this is not gonna take long. See, that looks pretty good. Gonna turn that off. Yeah, nah, that's done. More books. Oh, look at that. So that's your freshwater prawn or cherubin as we call them here. And that's how it looks. So that'll be nice and sweet. So a little bit of salt, not much, because we already put salt on. So. Yeah. All right, cheers. Rightio, guys, hope you enjoyed that. A couple of days away, bit of crabbing, bit of cherubining, catch and cook. Um, if you loved it, um, please press the like button, or if you can subscribe, um, and ring the bell, press the little bell and it'll let you know when the next video comes on. I really appreciate um, everything and all the kind words that you guys are saying. So see you on the next one.